Hello, tea timers. So um, here I am. I'm back in my tea timing chair and I have my cup of tea. I'm, I'm drinking a um, Irish breakfast because I needed a really strong tea. Um, I've got a little bit of cream and, uh, and I'm just enjoying this slight lull in the activity because it's, it's going to be a busy day. Our grandsons are coming over for a visit. They're coming for a sleepover. So we've got all kinds of stuff planned. I've got a, um, yes, my outfit. I've got a coffee cake in the oven. So uh, this won't be as lengthy as my other tea times because I'll have to take it out. And um, let's see, that's that's all. I'm back. I'm, oh, you notice I got a haircut. This is courtesy of my sister Jen. I, it's my first haircut in, um, oh my gosh, in two years and four months. I mean, I've, as you know, <laughs> as you tea timers know, I've cut my own a few times with your help and that was wonderful and got me through, but this was professional and he took out the bulk and, um, he, he came to my sister's house and so I was masked and he was masked and we did it outside and that was such a, a lovely gift Jen gave me. It was so nice to see um, see my, my daughter and her partner and my sister and Phil and, and my grandbaby. And, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing my, my grandsons today with our sleepover. So um, it's going to be fun. And by tomorrow night, I'm going to be pooped. <laughs> boys are they have so much energy they just zoom 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 around and um you know there's all their favorite things they like to do at grandma and grandpa's house and um so you know my husband has this <laughs> he, he came up with this kind of there's these battles you know first there was a big red ball that we blew had bought and blew up that was called a mega bounce ball i was gonna put this away but i need it <laughs> it's, it's called a mega bounce the ball was and it's a big red ball and our youngest grandson just loved that ball so much and so then they started making up the mega bounce ball and then there was the mega bounce man or something like that <laughs> that was my husband and then you know you know how he likes superheroes and and action figures and stuff so then he started putting on outfits and they used they started having battles <laughs> and, he, and the outfits get more and more elaborate with different kind of things. I wonder if, hmm, I see if I can get my husband to do a tiny clip of himself, not the grandsons, of course, because we try to keep, we do keep them off of social media, but just a tiny clip of him <laughs> in his outfit. He might say no. And since he's the IT guy, you might not get a little tiny clip of him, but you might get a clip of him. He's got this like, I don't know, it gets more and more elaborate and he goes, down. <laughs> And they chase them and they've got all sorts of props, which you won't be able to see either because the boys, but you know, things that fly around and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be, um, it's, it, it, it'll be busy. And we also, because we were away, I had been saving for Easter, but then we decided to take, a, a the trip to see my, my daughter and sister and granddaughter and the, um, that side of the family because there was the lull before the mask mandate was going to be removed. So we were like, wait, okay, we've got our booster and there's a lull in the cases <laughs> and there's still a mask mandate. And so we zipped down and we did it. We came back and, you know, we've been testing, but we're fine. So, ah, we did it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing today. I've got, did I tell you? I might've told you I've got a coffee cake in the oven. That's the littlest one's favorite. He always requests that. And because the last time they had a sleepover right before we left for California, the older one, his favorite is um, lemon muffins. Although sometimes then they want the donuts or they want the cinnamon buns or whatever. So so anyway, I have uh, I just made that and um, lots is going on, um, but I won't be able to tell you probably for another week or two so we'll see but um we'll see <laughs> i might be heading out a little bit more than i have been <clears throat> in other words staying in my house for two years <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I'll quickly answer a question before the kiddos get here. I'm just working through questions from um, that I haven't done that are in the book. So, uh, Spooky B said, oh, you know what? Okay, this is way back from uh, uh, Spooky Boo Famille said, uh, asked if we could get another anecdote of time spent with Tom Holtz. And Tina Chavez said, such a lovely video once again, lovely person. Thank you, Meg. I have a question for you. Have you ever run into Tom Holtz since the making of Amadeus? If so, when and where? And what were the circumstances? I was just wondering. Thank you so much for blessing us with your tea times. It's the highlight of my week each time. And um, so I, um, yes, I did run into Tom and it was totally unexpected. It was when I was doing the uh, book tour for Singing Songs, my first, move, my first book. And I was so terrified that someone would know that I based it on my family that I just was did the whole book tour kind of in a misma of fear and half truths and out and out lies <laughs> and to, to be like how I came up with the idea of this, you know, oh, from my acting experience, blah, blah, blah. So I was in, I was at the bookstore in Seattle. It's a great bookstore. It's called, oh, it is. It is like a beautiful, brilliant bookstore, independent bookstore in Seattle. And the name's flying, flowing out of my head. And uh, there was a big, huge group of people and people in uh, the back. And it was, it was pretty full. And then when it came time to sign, I was signing and I look up and there's Tom. Tom Holtz, and my heart just goes, oh. and then I think, oh, he knows me. He might, I wonder if he knows that I'm like lying about the book, that it's really me, but I couldn't say. So I was, it was like a mix. Like I was so happy to see him because the last time I'd seen him was when I'd injured my leg and, um, and, and he had gone out, he had run out and, um, Oh no, and he had gotten me the, the garbage can full of uh, snow to plunge my foot in. And then afterwards, when I'd come back from the first place they took me, the American consulate, and they had done all this stuff and said it was broken and put a cast on it. And he came uh, to my room and, oh man, he was just so sad and he was so sweet. And, and that was the last time to see if I was okay. And then they took me to the Czech hospital that I was, um, I was put in. And that was the last time I saw Tom. I, after I got out from the operation, went back to the hotel, picked up my stuff and was on a plane back. So all these feelings came rushing back. The sorrow of not doing the movie, the kind of like <gasps> happiness for him that he did and it had done so well. And, and, um, and the loss of Constanza Anyway, he was super sweet, but also, you know, when you're doing a book signing, you have a like row of people waiting for your, your, for you to sign the book. So it's not like I could just stop. I hugged him and I said, oh, you know, and we, we talked for a little bit, but then, um, but then I, I didn't see him again. But every time I drove through that uh, town, Seattle, even now I drive through and I don't know where he lives or if he lives there or not but I just send like love to him and it makes me feel like, oh, at least, you know, he lived there for a bit of time. I don't know if he still is because I know he did some, um, produced some plays on Broadway and is doing all this stuff, but I just get filled with like this sense of uh, this love for him. So that was the only other time I've seen him. I haven't seen him in all those years. We talk, wait, 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 we might've, did we see each other in New York once? We were going to do the seagull. We, he was trying to set up the seagull so that, and, and so that, because that was something I really wanted to do and he really wanted to do, but we didn't get it set up. But anyway, so I'm, we've talked, I know we talked 
on the phone about it or did letters about it and I might have seen him, but I don't remember. I remember just the shock of seeing him um, in Seattle. And then when I've gone through and I've done book readings in Seattle, I always think like, I wonder if he's still here. <laughs> Anyway, that, that's uh, my thing. Oh, you know what? What was it? It was a, another one that somebody had said here. Where was it? Oh, dear. I can't find it. Oh, oh, here. This was one from Paul. This was on the, on the, um, on the Amadeus one as well, because these are all in that area. And he said, maybe it was for the best that you did not get to do Amadeus. I mean, the damage that that man did in the short amount of time you worked with him. I cannot even fathom how much worse it could have been. Have you seen the film recently? And I wonder if you can look at it objectively now that time has passed, or does it still feel like Elizabeth Barrage was wearing your underwear? So I hadn't thought of that, but you're right. I had always felt like, oh my gosh, but can you imagine if I had to go through the entire six month shoot dealing with his his bs that would have been terrible so i had never thought of it in that way so thank you for that gift and um i haven't ever seen amadeus i just saw the clips uh at the academy you know for the academy awards and stuff like that and could tell that tom was brilliant in it and um i think i might watch it i think that would be a really good thing to do because it's supposed to be a beautiful film and why not watch a beautiful film and and at my age there wouldn't be that sorrow of loss because it, it's just part of the experience of my life right I wouldn't I wouldn't have had my daughter Emily you know I would have still been in in uh, Czechoslovakia so so um, life just shifts the way it's supposed to all right I better go get the cake out of the oven and um, the grandkids should be getting here soon so I'll talk to you soon and have a great week okay bye-bye